Homeowners on Lake Bowen and Lake Blaylock say an upstate utility is inching its way onto their property, and they are not happy about it. Tonight, they met to talk strategy in a showdown with Spartanburg Water. 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown talked to some of those who attended. Kim. Well, Gordon, unfortunately, we were not asked to attend that meeting, but we're told that it was standing room only and was filled with a lot of concerned homeowners. It's just kind of turning into a hassle, a legal battle just to enjoy your property. As property owners on Lakes Bowen and Blaylock emerged from Monday night's meeting, they had plenty to say. Our home has been there since 1979, 40 years, and it's been exactly the same yard for 40 years, and now we're being told that we don't have access to the water. The issue centers around property lines between property owners and Spartanburg Water. The company is rolling out new rules and regulations on what owners can and can't do. Some say the utility is overreaching. They want you to get an arborist in to, to just look at a tree to see if you can cut it down. And they want that to come out of your pocket. Steve Cato and his wife have owned their lakefront property for years. Now new rules make them feel like they're nearly underwater. Meeting attendees say they learned how the board of directors for Spartanburg Water is set up, who can be on the board and who can elect the members. And for some, therein lies the issue. The utility pulls drinking water from Lake Bowen and its leaders say the regulation keeps contamination down. But property owners say it's just too much. We want to maintain our property value and we want to keep our drinking water clean. So, you know, as a group, that's what uh, I heard in there. Everybody's concerned. Former Congressman Trey Gowdy is the attorney representing the homeowners in this case. Now, we did call his office this afternoon. We did not hear back from him. He was not at tonight's meeting, but did send the water company a nine-page letter just days ago challenging the utility's draft of rules and regulations. Gordon? All right, Kim, we know you'll keep following.